Hey, welcome back to Bedsquip. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can screen record your laptop without downloading any applications and absolutely for free. It's a free online screen recorder and editor uh, without any payments or fees or any subscriptions. Uh, in fact, you can even screen record without a watermark, which is fantastic. And you can edit straight um, from the website and then upload it to wherever you wanna you know, upload it. So why would you choose Recordcast? Well, because if you check this out, it's 100% free and you get high quality recording without any watermarks. No need to pay anything as well. No download required, okay? You can start a screen recording with one click, okay? No software, no extensions are required. Flexible recording, you can make screen captures. You can screen capture the whole screen or an application or a window browser. Audio can be recorded simultaneously if you prefer as well, which is what we're gonna try to do here and then built-in video editor. Once you, you're done your screen recording, you can polish up your screencast by adding uh, titles, animations, effects, uh, and more in the built-in video editor. So let's go ahead and start our screen record. So I'm gonna go ahead and press on the screen recording here. So we can do screen and a webcam. We can do screen only, or you can do webcam only. In fact, I wanna check out the screen and webcam. Okay, so I'm gonna go do, do the screen and webcam because it's quite useful when you're doing, when you're presenting information to students that they can also see you. So let's go ahead and try this out, screen and webcam. Press on next. And then it's going to ask for permissions to access the webcam. So we'll go ahead and say, yes, you want to allow it. Uh, also, do you want to use the microphone? It's going to use the built-in microphone here. We're going to go ahead and press allow. So we've granted permission for the webcam and the microphone. There is a warning here. Since I'm using a Mac here, it says currently you can only record audio of the web browser tab. Uh, if you want to record system audio, then use Google Chrome on a Windows laptop or a Windows PC. I'm currently using a MacBook. You can click on each of these to get information. So I'm gonna go ahead and press on system audio and it says here, currently you can only record audio of the browser tab. If you want to record, again, it's the same notification. Um, it works much better on a Windows laptop or a PC uh, and it allows you to record system audio as well as um, input audio as well, yeah? If you click on show more, you can see the equipment options. So let's go ahead and click on that. You can see here that the webcam that I'm using is the FaceTime HD camera. If I had a webcam, a separate plug and play webcam, I could select that from this list. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just stick with the FaceTime HD camera here. Let's go ahead and start recording. So I'm gonna have to click on this, okay, and then I can share my um, start recording. If you wanna click on a window application, you can click on a window application. If you wanna click on a Chrome tab, you can select one of the tabs here, okay? We're gonna do the entire screen for now, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just start recording. So this is now in progress, recording is in progress. What do I wanna do with this? I might wanna go over here, and I might want to go over my presentation for my students. So if I go ahead and press play here, I can run through this presentation. So here we go. Let this presentation load. Uh, this is talking about my trip to the Great Barrier Reef. Um, and so my favorite part of the trip, I most enjoy the moments when the huge turtles swam right past me. I wouldn't have believed the turtles would ever exist if, it hadn't, if I hadn't seen it myself. So, you know, I'm going through the presentation. Three new things that I learned. Number one is the world's largest coral reef system and so on and so forth. So you can go through your presentation. Let's go ahead and exit this presentation and go back to the screen recording here and we'll press on stop. I might want to now polish up the presentation by using the online video editor. So let's go ahead and press on download and edit. Here you can see it's opened up two separate files for the screen recording. One is of my presentation, uh, the entire screen that I recorded, and one is of my webcam. So look, they're on two separate files, which is wonderful because I can move around the file where I want now. So for example, the webcam, if it's in the way of something that I'm representing, you know, a picture that I'm showing or something, I can move it, I can um, resize it, move it wherever I want. So I might want to put it in, you know, the bottom right hand corner uh, at some points, or I might actually want to put it in the, you know, the top left hand corner, depending on my presentation. What I can do is use basic editing to splice, split, trim uh, the timeline as well. So, so I'm going to drag the playhead uh, where I start the presentation, I think about there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and press and split. If I select this uh, as well, look, it's split both of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that part. Okay, and that nicely starts the presentation, my screen recording from where I started to present my um, slides. Now you can see here, this is covering some information, so I might wanna drag this across and put it on the other side. That way it doesn't cover the information. What I might wanna do is add, um, titles after the fact so let's go ahead and add uh, a title here 
I think there's so many nice dynamic templates here. You could choose one of the dynamic templates. If you just hover over it, it will show you an animation as to what it would do. So we'll add this here. This is my title at the front. And I could go ahead and edit the, uh, the text here. So, so I might want to type here the Great Barrier Reef, for example. The subtitle would be, you know, my trip, my experience or whatever. So there you go. Now, <clears throat> as I play this, you can see that that animation is going to come in and it's going to look nice and pretty. I can also click on this and move it where I want to move it. I can resize it. So maybe I want to make that a bit bigger. Okay, like that. Um, yeah, and I want that to be right in the center. So I can also add in backgrounds. Now, why would I want to do a background? Maybe I want to start this off. Uh, let's say we'll add a background here and I want to drag this in the front at the front. And in fact, I might as well put my title there at the front. So now, if I take my playhead to the beginning, you can see that I've got this background and then my title comes in really nicely. So it doesn't affect the presentation in any way. You can also add in elements. So they've got some nice animations here. Um, like, a, you know, whatever, thumbs up. You can type in here as well. Maybe you want to see something and let's see what comes up with travel. So I can, oh, that's a really nice one. So I can add in this animation. I could add it. In fact, I can layer these up as well. So my text, let's say I add the text on the third layer. I can add the animation on the second layer and I've got my background there as well. Now I can move these things wherever I want to. Each element I can move where I want to, where I want to move it. So like that, you see, I've got my little animation that pops up. I can delete this. I don't need that one. I can delete that. So here we go. Let's check it out. I've got my animation that comes up and the Great Barrier Reef, my trip, and then my presentation starts. I can add an overlay as well. For example, maybe at the end, I want to add uh, something like, hey, th thanks for watching or something. So you can click here. I could just type in here, thanks for watching. Overlays have multiple elements that you can edit. So for example, this one has a logo. So if I double click on that, I could put a relevant image there if I wanted to. So for example, if I go to my desktop, I know that I've got um, a logo or something there. I can add that there if I wanted to. So I'm happy with that. I've recorded and I've edited my video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and export this now. So as I export it, you need to sign into export. So I'm just going to sign in with my uh, Google account here. That was simple, wasn't it? One click sign in. So now that I've done that, I can go ahead and export this. You have the option to export it in three different resolutions, 480p, 720p and 1080p. I'm going to go ahead and just select 720p here. So I'm going to go ahead and export it there. Recordcast removes the hassle of installing applications. And so if you've got a work issued laptop and you can't actually record anything because you need to install a program, then instead of going to the tech team, you can just use Recordcast because there is no download. You can just do it straight for the web browser and you're done. You don't need any extra permissions. So that's a reason as to why you might actually want to use Recordcast as opposed to, you know, Camtasia or other, you know, Adobe Suite uh, applications where someone needs to install them for you. So that's that's one of the main reasons as to why you might want to use this. Don't worry, nothing is saved online. It's all stored locally to your device. So it will download into your downloads folder or your desktop, wherever you choose to uh, save it. And then from there, you can upload it to your own drive, your G drive. You can upload it to YouTube, upload it wherever you want to your Google Classroom so that students have access to that screen recording. If you can think of one person that this will benefit, make sure you share it with them. Consider subscribing for EdTech tutorials. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.